hey guys good morning and welcome to the new video of mulesoft online learning so in today's video we will be uh, discussing about like how to debug a mule application using postman and the different ways to create a particular mule flow so let's get started so this is the workspace which i have opened up in any point studio 742 version and we will go for new the mule project we will select the mule server 422 that is the latest one and we will put a uh, name over here let's say sample project so this will be a very basic project which will be having a get operation in it and we will be putting around some uh, operations like get and put on the same http listener so let's uh, so uh, how to create a a new mule flow so either you have to uh, drag and drop a source based palette like listener or a scheduler or a file based palette or there is another way to look for a flow so if you go down and try to look for a flow let me search over here it will be better so this this flow reference so if you put it in this way it will create the same flow oh, basically this is the flow reference sorry for that but uh, uh, now it has become the same basic flow or this is the same as this flow so you can compare both it, both are having error handling in it along with the source and the process uh, part or as i mentioned you just need to drag and drop the the http listener or any other um, initiating based uh, palette okay guys so for now let's delete the rest of the flow references and let's rename it with the name uh, hello world that's the basic uh, uh, first project which we create in any of the other coding languages well like be it c or java so let's create a connection configuration for http listener so you will be wondering what is this two issues are found so config reference this is for it is looking for the http connection and the other one is the path both are mandatory fields so it is showing the error about it so let's resolve it one by one we will click on plus sign and 8081 is already being used in my system so i will replace it with 8082 i will go for test connection within a second it should be okay okay we are good okay i will be putting a path over here like uh, hello world and within the advance i will put get okay and i will be putting some more stuff over here like basically a logger and perhaps a maybe set payload should be okay and one more logger should be fine so let's put some realistic message over here like hello world flow is invoked okay and within the set payload i will put down some generic message like uh, greetings and within logger i will put something hello world flow completed guys this is very basic i am again repeating this is just to show the debugging capability of the mule project okay so this is very basic one um, and let me put a breakpoint so what does it breakpoint will do during the debug execution of this flow it will stop the flow at this point 
and I have marked it over the logger at this stage because it will mark rest of the things gradually so let me show you how it will go we will right click and go for the debug project sample project there is one more way to go over here if you go for the run and you can check for the debug configurations by default it runs on the one second it will go for new configuration mule debugger you can see here is the debugger port that is double six double six okay in case it is it it shows like it is already being in use then it will throw an error then you can change it here uh, and uh, make some other port which is available and it will work fine so we will close it for now and we will start this project in the debug mode see it is now loading launching the sample project we are running it in the debugging mode so there will be some different format coming up so it is asking to change the perspective from the mule design to mule debug mode so i will go for yes so here you can see this is the mule debug mode and this is mule design mode i will wait for this application to get up properly and it is showing deployed so we are good to go i will open the postman now So this is 8082 but uh, the URL will be hello world let me check if it is capitals or oh no it is in small so let's go exactly by the same name and hit on send button so here you will see it will continue on sending request even though it is a very easy one because it will stuck somewhere here itself so see uh, it has passed from this stage logger set payload and finally it is waiting for the logger level so in logger what you can see you can see all the payload which is being logged like greetings apart from that uh, you can see the other things as well like if there is any header uh, what is the path local address what is the method being called so all such information you can look at from here okay I will now stop this debugger mode and will make some slight changes so I will again switch back to the mule design perspective and I would like to add a set variable so set variable I will put over here I will put over here and let's a name like where or basically put some better name um, like key and I will put a value around it let's say value is 10 and I will use this key and value pair over here in place of greetings okay I will put where's dot key so in this flow I am able I am trying to show you like how to declare a particular variable and how to assess into the gradual stages let me remove the toggle breakpoint from here and put it somewhere else let's see let's put it over in the first logger itself save the project and run it again in the debug mode it will take a couple of seconds okay now it is asking me to switch to the debug mode uh, yes keep an eye on the console mode as well just to cross check if application is up and running or not yes it's started now now I will hit the same URL once again clicking on the send button now I will go back to the anypoint studio and I will wait for the message to come up over here and you can see the logger is now able to log the message see we are not sending anything in the payload that's why it is not showing anything 
and even in the logs this log particular statement is not printed so let's go to the next processor so this particular icon is for the next processor you can also use f6 and now it is going to the set variable so once this logger activity is completed you can see the respective log coming up in the console as well like hello world flow is invoked now it is waiting for set variable but in the set variable it will show all the entries which are executed prior to it so all the things in our case it will remain same because payload is still pending it, it is not being it is not being set yet but to the variable it is assigning trying to assign but is not fully executed so let's try to um, bypass this stage as well now we are into the set payload so here we can see the variable value key as key and 10 as the value as we set in the set variable pay and uh, let's click on the next processor so we are on the logger stage so we should be able to see the payload payload we have set as the set variable value only that is the key value pair which we have set that is 10 and we are on the logger stage so once we clear this logger stage as well whatever we are printing it over here it will print onto the console log as well so let's clear this stage as well and go to the console so here you can see the hello world flow is completed so we will check here as well so this is the payload which is getting printed so why this payload is getting printed we are setting up this value of vas dot key and how the postman has recorded 10 so it is because in the listener in the response we have typed the body as payload so whatever is the payload being set as the output of this particular flow that is being recorded as a payload and it will be sent back as a response okay so let me stop this once again and switch to the mule design side of it and I will show you one more thing like using the same HTTP port how can we use a different operation other than get let's say put or post basically so let's drag and drop the listener once again and we will put a logger directly we are using the same HTTP listener and with this time we will be using the post as the URL path and within the advanced we will be putting post okay and you can also specify the application slash JSON maybe uh, as the incoming payload type and after that we will be logging whatever it is going to print so basically the payload okay I'm going to save it and let's save the project and try to run it directly so this time we will not be running in the debug mode but directly in the uh, the normal instance running it will take couple of seconds to load and then we will start from postman trying to hit it again so we will be changing this URL to the post and here we will change it to post and within body I will change to JSON I will put something like I will try to put something like within draw I will change it to JSON so I will put A as 100 and let's cross check on the studio whether it is up and running yes it is up and let's hit the send button we'll come back over here so it is now printing the logger activity of the post method as you can see and this is the payload which is getting posted from the postman so with this um, uh, I showed you like how to use the same HTTP port and how to debug a particular code within the AnyPoint Studio using the different capability 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let's come up with a more interesting topic in the next video. Stay tuned and have a great day ahead. Thank you.